welcome back to Jumanji on this beautiful but windy day. Today we're going to talk about why H2O is sp3 hybridized and why it has two low. So first we can agree that the electron configuration for atomic oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Hydrogen is you know, 1s1. Alright, so we're going to take this and put it in our energy diagram down here. We have our nucleus. We have our levels, they go on up to level four, five, whatever, right? So level one we know just has the one S. And each level holds two electrons, opposite spin, and level two has S and a P. And I did this on purpose because your S is still at a lower energy level than your P. Your P is at a higher energy level. So let's start filling in now, right? We're either one S2 down here, two S2. We have one electron, another. You just go that out, right? And your 1s fills before your 2s, your 2s fills before your 2p, right? And you have your px, py, pz. One goes into each p orbital first, so we have four p's. One, two, three, and then the four, right? We have these two half-filled orbitals that are great for hydrogen with this 1s, come and fill it in. So hydrogen comes in, 1H, 1H, 2H. These two orbitals are what constitute your lone pairs here. They're not involved in your hybridization, but they're there. They can do bonding, they can do resonance. Large propulsion between lone pairs are stronger. So it's pushing these bonds closer to each other. This is why water, even though it's tetrahedral, has a 104.5 versus a 109 degree angle because of these two lone pair pushing on these bonded angles. 